Hi, this is Shadi. This video would not have been possible without the help of Emmanuel Papa. Emmanuel is a wrestler and a scholar and specialized in Chinese wrestling, also very fluent in the Chinese language. So today we will be looking at a manuscript that was released, I believe, in the 1960s and it was written by Liu Yushu. So uh, obviously if it was written in the 60s, it doesn't mean that the techniques themselves were founded in the 60s. So of course we will do what we usually do is compare them to judo and of course the different approaches, the setup, the unbalancing, because as you know, not everyone is wearing the same thing across the globe, but the human body is certainly the same thing. So the jacket is definitely going to play a role and as you can see the sleeves are incredibly short and also there is not much slack like you would see in a judo jacket the gi is, has a very complex history i've discussed it before so first let's start with the first one so this looks very much like your average uh, fireman's carry or kata guruma but there are some uh, differences. Notice how he's gripping the wrist rather than the sleeve on the elbow level and also he is collecting both legs in a way. So he is gripping the leg but at the same time the other leg is not behind him it's rather in, in front of him and that will uh, have a far better control so you're kind of scooping up and at the same time lifting on your shoulders. So now, that's not to say that this kata guruma variation uh, does not exist in judo. It did. Let's take a look at some of the variations. So, this is Mifune demonstrating the uh, classical way of entering. You see the leg ended up being behind and also um, he's just lifting on the shoulders. Now, this one here, the variation number two, you see he does very much like in the manuscript has the both legs in front of him so he ends up scooping up with the hips and the shoulders and of course the arms so it's a much better way to collect the body on top and here this third one is somewhat similar but he is wrapping the closer leg and lifting everything up um, next one is of course o uchi gari also known as um, i believe the ga in Chinese or Mongolian you see it also in Mongolian wrestling so it's an inner reap the uh, leg is grabbed in Chinese wrestling or Swai Jiao and they drop you see it in judo often but uh, obviously with today's rules you're not gonna see it so let's take a look at the Chinese variation so here he drops down holds the leg Dropping down in judo and doing it is not uncommon, but grabbing the leg, uh, it was done in the past, not so much today as a support for it. So you see here um, this hopping variation in order to drive it home. I believe this is Yamashita, the Olympic champion. This one here with the leg grab and the uh, leg reaping. This is Kashiwazaki not known very much for uh, leg techniques but here the, he does a very impressive one nonetheless grabbing the leg and reaping the other one so the next one is actually very interesting i was very perplexed when i saw it so of course i contacted emmanuel and he explained to me that this is not uh, a foot sweep the the one that's turning his back towards you is the one executing the technique so he has both hands on one side so he's gripping the sleeve and one hand on the shoulders and he's pushing down to put all that weight on that leg and from there he reaps it from behind so it makes it a ko soto gari in judo terminology but the grip as you can see it's very much different you have one arm pushing down on the shoulder the other one is crossed and gripping the sleeve and also pulling downwards and so he picks up the leg from behind and then 
it would be like a hopping Kosoto Gari. You see it in competition, of course, with the resistance and both athletes being high level. So let's take a look at some competition example. Um, so here you see, I believe this is Tashiro and she was she's one of the best in this technique so um, here you see the hopping and collecting the leg upward but you see the gripping differs sleeve and lapel not so much as a cross grip and one is on the shoulder so kosotogari is not those you know hardcore throws but highly effective next one at first i thought it was harai tsurikomi ashi given how the leg is being swept backwards. However, it is different. You see, you have the uh, two-on-one grip uh, on the arm, and what it is is that he is grabbing the forearm, pulling it towards him, and then collecting the elbow and the uh, crease of his own elbow, and then blocking. So it makes it like a sasai, but with an arm drag, in a sense. It's it's not very nice to do it. it it can feel very it's not a nice throw to do on someone as emmanuel explained it because the way you're collecting the elbow and uh, you're sweeping it can be very uh, uncomfortable so but nonetheless very effective and also you don't have an arm uh, you cannot post your arm as you can get injured so sasai is a very popular in judo and very effective at the same time but you have to rotate the upper body while supporting the leg at the shin and ankle level and uh, but this one in the Sui Jiao or the Chinese wrestling you pull the arm towards you as you make way for them to go and you block the ankle very much like you see here so uh, the human body is the same everywhere but all these setups are quite uh, interesting to see and of course with a jacket or with a belt or naked wrestling so this next one here i don't need to explain it clearly an ippon seoyanage a shoulder throw as you want to call it of course it's a hand technique it's one of the best and of course very destructive very effective and of course aesthetically pleasing because you know we like to see this and um, it's also very rich in variations this one is not seo otoshi please if you think that putting your leg like a tai otoshi uh, position it doesn't make it seo otoshi it's a completely different uh, technique so um, there's many ways of doing this one but of course it exists all over the world you can do it naked wrestling as well next one um, this one it looks much like a headlock uchimata and you see he's locking the head while hooking on the inside and of course all you need to do is push the head down and reap the leg up and it can be seen in judo of course Here you see uta abe pushing the head down or pulling it towards her while reaping up with the leg it's it's nice to look at it's not your most common way of doing in judo but um, it is still there so uh, if you have anything to add please let me know down below the link will be in the description below as well as his Instagram I highly suggest you look at all the techniques I didn't cover them all and also check out his Instagram for uh, athletic and wrestling content. This was Shadi and thank you for listening.